the Gettier problem, the Getzier problem. This problem challenges traditional definitions of knowledge. You love knowledge. It, it, pre it presents cases where a person can have a true belief that is justified, yet it doesn't seem to qualify as genuine knowledge. I think I have to look up an example of this because... Yeah, yeah. I, these are Socratic terms. So true belief is something... Well, essentially Socrates thought... He thought that the real truth is only accessible to another realm of existence, which was the theory of forms. And true belief was a thing that we as humans accidentally predicted and actually accidentally coincided with what truth is. Okay? You're not listening, but... What you just said is there is something that's beyond our reach, but we happen to arrive at the same conclusion by our own means? Here's, a, here's an example. Uh, if, if someone has watched The Good Place, there's a part where... I forgot the name of the guy. For Doug Forsett. Who, who's Doug Forsett? Who, the person who is thought to be an angel or God? No, angel. Has a picture of on the wall of someone. <laughs> and oh, that right, right. someone, he, he, recount, he recounts a story and says, well, that guy is a celebrity here because he once went, went on a mushroom trip and accidentally guessed 85% of the truth about the paradise and hell and everything. And that is what a true belief is. It's just something that we as humans come up with and accidentally coincides with the truth. So let's say, you know, beauty is something unattainable and we don't know what beauty itself is, but we know what beautiful things are, right? Manifestations of the beauty. But some of us, like, I don't know, let's say 1% just for, for gags and get, get gifts. Yes. Grifts. <laughs> Well, that 1% of the world accidentally knows what beauty is, but not in any way where they can, you know, justify it in a godlike manner, I guess. Uh, right, so, so what was the thing? An omniscient manner. Omniscient, thank you. Um, case where a person can have a true belief that is justified. Yeah, ju so justified guess... is the way, is just, have you arrived to it by reason slash experience, like, you're not just randomly guessing things. Yeah, it's it's justified because you've you know you've seen a bunch of beautiful faces and you know what beauty is from that. Right. So so so, so the question was justified true belief belief that isn't knowledge. Yet it doesn't seem to qualify as general genuine knowledge. Right. That's ludicrous. Right. So <laughs> now, but uh, I think j just using the terms justified true beliefs, you're taking that bias that there exists a parallel world where the forms operate and somewhere out there there's the form of a cup and this is just a manifestation of it although this is a jar <laughs> and the as i would say right inherent or the form or the absolute truth or whatever is just the thing that has the most applications on practicality in the real world it's a little bit of like the grain of sand thing, right? If I say, uh, let's say we have the big debate, right? The, is there a God? And the presupposition that there is not a God has more applications in the real world because if you think that the earth was created through the big bang, you can make more predictions about it, right? Mm. Let's say me meteorologically, you can say, okay, because we know all these things about physics, the earth is going to be at this temperature in 100 years. Well, could God predict that? I don't know. So whatever has the most practical consequences is the thing that is true, right? That's, that's kind of all it is. So, oh man, this is any, anything interesting, anything more interesting? Because I'd like to conclude with the fact that, man, these philosophers just dig holes for themselves. And they're like, there must be gold at the end here or diamonds. And they just keep searching with that blind hope and... There's nothing there, you know. You should just get out of the ground and kind of talk to other people. <laughs> that That's my conclusion. Yeah, a, a big problem with all of these is just the practical applications. Are... Negate even the, the asking of the question. Yeah, it's useless to ask the question because it either doesn't have practical applications or like it hinders just the functioning of the world for no reason.